Huddersfield Town are a fucking joke. First time since 2019, last year we, we had a uh, we had an enjoyable season, you know. S since that season we stayed up, we had an enjoyable season. First time. We had the fucking terrible tie that was Jan Siebert. We had Danny Cowley, where we stayed up at the skin of her teeth, recovering from Siebert's horrible mistakes with a low budget, below average squad. And then he got let go, or let go, but he left. Let's, let's face it, he left because there were no money in the club. Carlos Corbran comes in, unknown oh, manager. We have another shit year in the championship. And then he works an absolute miracle with no money, all free transfers. Fucking Jordan Rhodes, Danny Ward, uh, Lee Nichols, fucking John Russell, a Chelsea Academy player. These guys were all Matty Pearson, Tom Lees. All of these were top performers for us last year. And they're all on free transfers. They're all from the job centre. They had no deal, no club. And that's what we're relying on to have a good year. And he got us to Wembley. And we still won't back him. We still won't spend a fucking penny. We made two signings, what? Today? We made two signings today. Both threes, I think. Pretty sure. Wouldn't surprise me. One from League One. And Connor Mahoney, who, who were a backup player at Millwall. And people, you know, he left. D do you blame him? I don't. You know, Carlos Corbran, we were in free fall. Like we felt like from 2019, Yancey were going in, we were in free fall. And at the start of this year, I, I got into the mindset that we were bottom bottom half club. You know, we were, promote, we were predicted by most people to be relegated. And he would have fired all the odds again. And we didn't back him. We, we had a good manager. We had a top manager again. A manager that, our only manager in the last decade that could tie the shoelaces of fucking David Wagner who took us up. And we've let him walk out because we haven't spent, because we refused to spend any money on anything. And we can't even spend money on a fucking manager. That's how we're fucking, we're promoting the coach, who were a development coach, Danny Schofield, to probably get us relegated. You know, and I thought we were losing Lewis O'Brien, I thought we were losing Lily Nichols. I thought we were losing Sorbo. Well, I didn't think we were losing Sorbo. I thought we were keeping Sorbo, to be fair. But I thought the other two could easily leave. But the only pull that we're keeping them there were Carlos. And the fact that Carlos can can get us there and perhaps get us up. And now he's gone. And now we've got a development manager. As the fucking first team manager, why would Lewis O'Brien stay? Why would Sorbo Thomas stay? Sorbo Thomas is a full Welsh international Lewis O'Brien is the best midfielder in the Championship. Lee Nichols is the best goalkeeper in the Championship and one of the best keepers in England. Why would these players stay to play for our football club? Because on paper, the rest of the team can't get us up. I love Tom Lees, I love Matty Pearson, but if we went up, they aren't Premier League footballers at all. Normally, when you're, at the, when you're, when you're in the, the playoff final, you've got a group of players there that you can envision playing Premier League football. You cannot say to me, you cannot make any argument to me that Matty Pearson and Tom Lees are Premier League quality. Naby Sarr, you, you, can't, you can't make an argument for any of them. And I love all of them and I'm, I'm so glad that they're staying. If they were starting centre-backs for a Premiership team, there is no prayer that that team stays up. And I didn't think we were going to stay up next year. I just wanted the investment to come into the club because we had the... Uh, the stadium plans, the training ground plans that were made when we first went up, they'd been scuppered because of COVID and then Phil came in. So I just wanted that money back. I wanted that money to come into the club, um, actually well in, well invest it for the, for the long term, which we didn't do last time. And then be fine with comfortably going down next year. I would have been fine with that. As long as we got that money in and parts of the club that desperately need investing, i.e. the... Uh, the training ground, because we're supposed to have a massive complex there. All we've added is a little hut with the badge on it. The stadium was supposed to be like a massive complex. Um, not much changed, apart from we got 
a fucking food court filling a car park you know none of none of that money none of that none of those plans have come to fruition and i wanted that to you know the, the women's team it's fucking criminally no investment they can't go up because they have no like a club that was a premier league team three years ago should be able to invest in the women's team enough to get them from one division to another especially when they're in the third division or whatever like that that is such a joke that's why I wanted the money. That's why I wanted promotion. I didn't want promotion. You know, it, I've, I've renewed my season ticket. It would have been nice to see fucking Ronaldo, even though he might be leaving. Um, De Bruyne, Haaland, even though they would have scored four goals on us. would have been nice to see him. And we were robbed of that chance by John Moss. Um, but yeah, that, that's why I wanted to get promoted, to get that money and to have few good games and see some good players but I, I I in no way envisioned us staying up that wasn't my expectation that isn't why I wanted to go up to compete in the Premier League one of the big boys I I, I resigned to, that that would go down and but we, we don't we, we don't get to see that because John Moss again but yeah any prayer of us being a Premier League club in the near future has, has gone down the drain because we've let a top 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 manager the best manager in the league Nathan Jones got uh, manager of the year last year fucking unbelievable how that happened we, we let the best manager in in the division walk because we wouldn't spend one fucking penny not one but we made zero signings that were money related last year the last one we spent money the last player we spent money on were Sorber I think or Dwayne Holmes and that was that was during the Covid year so last chance last summer we didn't last January we didn't and this summer we aren't, it seems like, and we're not even going to spend money to, to, to properly bring in a, a manager. We're not going to... We've taken the cheap option. At the end of the day, we've, we've done it again. And, and we're sleepwalking, <laughs> sleepwalking into relegation, sleepwalking into mediocrity, whatever. Dean Oyle said we wasn't going to do in the Premier League. We are doing that now in the Championship because we refuse to invest in positions and aspects of the club that desperately need investing and desperately need keeping and we've lost the sole heartbeat of the football club and we're going to lose more in terms of the playing staff Lewis O'Brien and it's a huge shame because I love the I love this team this year I loved how we played you know it made massive massive memories and we're throwing it all away because we won't spend a dime I mean, according to uh, sources I've seen on on Twitter, Carlos is expected to go back to Leeds. So if that, if that happens, then that's an absolute joke. But as, as to Leeds as a fucking coach, not as a manager, not as a manager that nearly just got promoted through the playoffs to the Premiership. No, as a fucking assistant coach to Jesse Marsh, who's going to lead Leeds to relegation at the end of the day with Notts Forest and whoever the third team is. I don't give a fuck, but. Yeah, sums it all up. Sums how much of a shambles our football club is and our ownership is, and I, I'm, I'm baffled, baffled that we've let this happen. But um, yeah, that's how it's felt our football club. We can't have all nice for long, you know. We 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 go up, we stay up, and then the next three years after that, it's fucking dog shit. And then we have one good year, we're nearly going up, and then it's fucking dog shit again. I see us being 15th. You know, people saying, oh, well, no, I, I actually, with Carlos, I thought we were going to go up either, either playoffs or second. I don't know who's winning the league. I have no predictions in terms of the championship, but I would have thought we'd be up there. I would have thought we'd, we'd, we'd get promoted this year. I thought this year would have been the year under Carlos, but Carlos is gone, and I think we're going to finish 20th, 20, 19th, 18th again. Back to mediocrity. Well done, Dean Oil. Up the town. But yeah, I've no nothing else to say. Um, thank you for watching. It's been a while since I've done a YouTube video. It's been a while since I've done a video. Um, it's been a while since I've done a video like this. I've never done a video like this, to be honest. I'm sitting here talking about sports. Um, but yeah, this is content that I, I'd, I'd want to do anyway in the future. Or 
you know, if I ever properly did a YouTube channel, this is the content I'd envision making, you know, because FIFA shit. And I play other games, but I don't want to upload other games, because I like other games. Um, but yeah, this is the content I want to make, just a PSA for people that give a shit. Just a PSA for people that were here before. I'm wondering what the fuck is he doing, making videos again. Talking about sports, hopefully. Um, if you enjoy it, then thank you. It'll, you know, hopefully get me to keep going and, and make some out of this channel. I plan on doing more football, more town, unfortunately. Um, also basketball, stuff like that. But I've got some stuff that's racking in my brain that I need to figure out, you know, what, what I want to actually do to drive this channel forward. So if you enjoy it, sweet. I'll, I'll hopefully keep doing it and get a following again and make some of this YouTube channel. So thank you for watching. Um, I'll see you in the next one.